there are many beautiful texts throughout Torah. Some of them, though, are also difficult. And we meet many of them throughout the book of Leviticus, and this week's Torah portion is no different. In this week's Torah portion, in Amor, especially in chapter 21, we find a further description of who can bring offerings, who is capable and who is permitted to bring offerings for the Israelites. And what we learn is that the qualifications of the offerings are those who do not have a blemish or a defect. The word for Hebrew is mum, and anyone who does not have a blemish or a defect is allowed. Anyone who does have a blemish or a defect, anyone who does have mum, a mum, is um, disqualified. And I find this text difficult because haven't we been taught that everyone is B'Tselem Elohim? Everyone is made in God's image and therefore holy. So why, if everyone is holy, why would someone be disqualified? Largely, the commentators follow this logic. They teach that if what we bring to God is going to be perfect, therefore those who are bringing it to God should also be perfect. I also find that not so satisfying. So I looked a little bit deeper and what I found in the Shulchan Aruch, um, another commentary, is this, and I'll, I'll read it to you. One who has, who has a deformity in his face or his hands, for example, albinism, uh, deformed fingers or paralyzed fingers, may not perform the priestly blessing um, because the congregation will stare at him. Let me explain this. What does this mean? First of all, the Shulchan Aruch happens way after we're bringing sacrifices, so they're talking about using their hands to make a blessing. And what is this teaching? One, they don't want anyone to be distracted by someone's hands, but more importantly, they want the dignity of the leader to be intact. They don't want people to stare at them. So they've looked at this, this text in Leviticus chapter 21 and said, we don't want to be distracted from our prayer. And more importantly, how horrible would it be to be stared at? That's why they're disqualified. We find another text in the, in the Talmud that says, when someone is known in their community, when they're known well in their community, if they have a defect or a blemish, they can ascend to leadership. And they provide example after example after example, which supports this later text of Shohan Aruch, this embarrassment. This to me is beautiful and satisfying, and it connects so intimately with B'Tzela Melohim. Everyone is holy, and if we stare and make someone uncomfortable and humiliate them, no longer are we treating them as holy and in God's image. And during these strange times, all the more so, do we need to remember that everyone is B'Tselem Elohim.